People have been eating eggs for thousands of years. And not just because they taste great. They help you grow strong, smart and healthy. But where do they really come from? So tell us, where are you from? Hens. hens. I'm hens. from hens. One at a time, please. And where do hens lay their eggs? Oh, 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 hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. You in the beanie? I was laid in a barn. I'm from a cage. And I'm free range. Thanks, guys. In Australia, eggs are produced in farms all over the country and are laid in three different types of systems. They can be either barn laid, <laughs> cage laid, <laughs> or free range. This is because people like their eggs made in different ways. Australians eat more than 3.5 billion eggs every year. And most of these eggs come from hens housed in cages. Farmers keep the hens in cages so they're safe, clean and healthy. Because whichever system they use, farmers love to keep their hens well cared for. The advantage of the cage system is being able to control your environment. We can get the feed right, we can get the water right, we can get the temperature right, air quality right. We can keep out foxes, eagles, rats and mice. And that keeps the hens happy, and happy hens produce a lot of good eggs. The advantages of the, the barn system is that the hens can move throughout the entire shed. They have a lot of areas where they can scratch. Um, they also have a lot of perching areas. We've got a track feeder that runs the entire length of the shed. There's a lot of space for the chickens to eat. In the feed, there's, there's a lot of grains, wheat, sorghum. There's limestone, which helps with the calcium development for the shell and added vitamins and minerals. And you can see the birds help themselves to water whenever they need it and nothing else is added to the feed, um, only natural ingredients and vitamins and minerals. The free range system, the hens lay their eggs and sleep inside the sheds here. Once they've laid their eggs, they have complete freedom to wander around wherever they want to go. Free range allows the hens to exercise and scratch about in the grass or on the ground, something they love to do. But out here, the farmer needs to take special care to make sure they don't catch diseases from other birds or get attacked. There's a pair of hawks circling over there above those chickens at the moment. And there's another pair up there near those trees. Louis the guard dog, and he protects the hens from eagles that come in across from the hills to the back here. And he, he will stay around and chase them away if necessary. Keeping hens healthy. Whether the hens live outside, inside or in cages, they have their own animal doctor. Veterinarians help keep the hens healthy and prevent disease. If a hen gets sick, she may be taken for special care and her eggs won't be sold until she's better again. If you're ever lucky enough to visit an egg farm, you can help prevent the hens from getting sick by making sure you don't accidentally bring any diseases onto the farm. All cars and trucks must be clean. You'll need to wear special overalls and shoe covers and get your shoes disinfected. On free range farms, you need to wash your hands and wear shoe covers. These hens all started their lives inside an egg, but the egg they came from was different to the ones we eat. Only eggs fertilised by roosters will grow chicks. These are fertilised eggs, waiting to hatch. These chicks will grow up to one day lay eggs of their own. They'll be able to start laying when they're about four months old. The incubation process takes 21 days, so we, we take those eggs into our hatchery facilities and uh, we can plan in advance to the hour what time those little chicks are going to hatch. 
An egg tooth is very important in the baby chick's development. It's like a little lump on the end of the beak and it lasts on there for about seven days and then it falls off. And when we're incubating the eggs, they need to go in that way with the air cell on the top. And that's important for the baby chick because he chips around the top where that air cell is and in effect, the first breath that he take, takes from that air cell. It's extremely challenging because you have to get all the, all the temperatures correct, you have to get all the feed right, you have to have good quality water in order to rear a good quality chick that's preparing the chicken for its laying period later in life. When a hen is old enough to start laying, a yolk is released. This is the yellow centre of the egg. It moves through the hen and grows. The egg white forms, and then the outer shell is added. After a whole day and night, the egg is ready to be laid. Most hens lay about six eggs every week. These hens will lay one egg each day, and only one per day, because some people think that they may lay more. An egg is made up of a yolk in the centre, the albumen or egg white, and a chalaza. This is like a little cord that holds the yolk in place. Getting the eggs to you. Farmers take a lot of care to make sure that every egg gets to you in top condition. From the hen, eggs are collected and sent to an egg grading floor for cleaning and sorting. They're washed if dirty and tested. Any cracked eggs are removed. The good eggs are sorted into different sizes and packed into egg cartons, ready for delivery to the supermarket. In the supermarket, you can choose which type of farm your eggs come from. Cage, barn laid or free range. Eggs and you! <laughs> eggs are high in protein, which helps you grow. They'll keep you fit and strong, help you concentrate at school and give you energy to play. I like my eggs scrambled on hot butter toast with salt and pepper and a little bit of parsley. I like my eggs poached. An omelette with ham, cheese and tomato and salt and pepper to taste. I like my eggs poached on toast with butter on top and worked into the egg. I like them just done soft. Scrambled eggs and bacon for me. You can't get better than that. My favourite eggs are good the eggs with soldiers. So now we all know the story behind where our eggs come from. The big question is, who wants to help me make scrambled eggs?